How are you guys doing? Man, happy Sunday to everybody watching. It's been a very, very long time. I haven't really sat down and recorded a video. And I want to do that today to connect with everybody that has been watching that video for a very, very, very long time, you know. And I'm going to start putting on a lot of content right now. So uh, today, I hope you're doing good. You're fine. I know you haven't seen for a very long time, stuff like that. But now I'm coming back. So today, um, I uh, had a conversation with a friend. You know, we talk about it in a very civilized way. No argument, just respect his idea. But I thought I should bring it right here to you. And uh, it's about, um, you know, the creation of the universe. Because he believes that um, the war was not created by God. It was just evolution. I think um, if you read the Bible or someone uh, reason like that, you must have heard people talking about that. So we talk about it for like, you know, two hours continuously. He said that it's evolution. You know what evolution means, right? Things change from one stage to another. Like talking about man, that the war just appeared and they start to evolve you know from from apes to men you know because of global warming things like that people you know it's it's interesting people start losing their hair like from the ape the monkey and then their tears get shorter and shorter and because we eat different type of food our teeth are no longer longer as that of the like our baboon or things like that like but that doesn't really make sense someone must have created the war and that is god look at it carefully i was telling him that um if, if the war was, you know, just appear and it's evolution that started, then it should continue, right? Because it's evolution that there shouldn't be any stop. If things were evolving, it would never stop. It would keep going. So for like, like 3,000, 2,000 years, you know, I don't know the creation of the earth. It's been a very long time. Why is it that uh, we don't have something, uh, another new let's say let's say moon like two or three moons, right? Because if the moon has evolved, it should be, hey, hey, Instead of one moon, we've seen two moons, you know. Instead of four seasons, we're having seven seasons, right? Instead of like the, the, the few oceans, you no know, continent, we should, there should be, oh, another continent. Hey, it just appeared. Look at that land. No one saw it. You see, things like that. It should continue. But since the creation of the earth, we've seen just one moon, one sun. And because science has studied it. So, and he was like trying to lean on science, like, you see? You know, uh, it's evolution. Science actually knows something. I'm like, no, science does not know a lot. Don't go carried by uh, AI with this artificial intelligence, like men making things. Uh, science has simply amplified what God has created. You know, like, man has never made water. No. Man has never made another sun. Man has never made, you know, rain. Man has never created a tree. We have, you know, plastic trees. That one is understandable. All these things we're talking about, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. Everything that science has done, science has simply just amplified, studied what has been there, not creating anything and study it. And it was like, well, what about uh, some disease? I'm like, yeah, that's different. Uh, you know, people go to lab and create kind of virus. We see that. That's different. That is different. That, we're talking about creation. That's where you should look at it. You know, but he just got stuck in his belief. I'm like, okay, show me one thing that, that man has created that you've seen. That can say, oh, man did this. Can you show me a mountain? A river? I'm not talking about the like the, the fake rivers in China or that. Dubai has made a lot of like, like river. That is not one. Look, at even man has created river. Those are just like, you know, just like digging a well. Now, who made the earth? If there wasn't any earth, there would not be any man to even dig up a well or make a piece of land and make water or water for, right? So these kind of things, like, it's just simple facts. Look at the sun. If the sun has to be shifted from where it is right now, just a little bit further, no one will survive this planet. There will be cold, excessive cold. If the sun has to be shifted a little bit lower than where it is right now, the heat on this planet... We talk about global warming right now, but man, you are joking. You will not breathe. But it's been positioned where it is right now. And someone did it without any experiment. Man will make something to test it. Like I would say the iPhone, right? It's been tested again and again and again before it's, it's out. But what God has made, it's never been tested. It's just right there. Bam! That's the location of the sun. Imagine human beings making the sun. They're testing other country. Yeah, maybe testing in Japan. Or tell in Switzerland, or the sun in Switzerland is not like the sun in Japan. The sun in Japan is not like the sun, but there's one, just one, and it's been like that for years. So, if you look at this, 
why won't you believe that as a superman you know a being a, a spiritual force god that created all these things isn't, isn't it obvious like what has man really really done creation look at fruit producing its kind we talk about fruit and he was saying oh hey people are making watermelon right now instead of watermelon getting long then i run like this i'm like yes that's just this uh uh genetically modified fruit you have watermelon right now that don't have seeds that's not how you create you can tell it's fake if you buy the grape and there's no seed in that grape how do you think another grape can be made not possible this is thing made in the lab and the things are responsible for the illnesses people having nowadays you know and things that they also talk about but he still got stuck in his idea so i'm like hey let me bring it to you guys diverse opinion right what do you think do you think the war uh just came out of, of nowhere it's a period and he just believe in in evolution that these things are created i mean those who don't read the bible definitely believe in that you know some science um what's this uh, club that we've seen it is i've heard about it that you just believe in science and science theologists and things like that and atheists the world just evolved but what about your opinion do you think that this world just appeared from nowhere the only question i ask if you believe in that the only question i ask you is how is it that it's just stop why can't we just get bigger money and hey you, your house that you build here is, is somewhere else uh, why have we to discover a new mountain somewhere let's say travel and come as a mountain yeah that's that's everything it should evolve in that's that's just, just a simple um argument it should keep on going but it's just stopped nothing new you know don't you think that there, there is uh, a supernatural being that created the war and we live in this war people still keep this discovering something something that wow hey look at this insect where did this come from you see what i mean it's, we, even don't, we don't even know much we don't even know even half of what the, this planet has we still keep getting something new but that is not from like evolution now that you should that that no the knowledge you have about the universe is so limited as human beings that we're not even able to understand all the things around us we still see your new things new plants right but that's not because of evolution it's because that we haven't been here that long to get all these things but someone created it because if someone did not create it um we have seen other types of um, things appearing, evolving from one to another. And even science, they study what has been there. But I thought I should bring it here. Since it's been a very long time, I haven't done a video that I, you know, um, sat down to chit chat. So let me know what you think.